Hey everyone, this is Sumlock24, and today we're going to be talking about how to uh, farm uh, the Torino guy or the Dino guy. Uh, anyways, I did upload two videos before this one. Uh, however, for whatever reason, YouTube, I think they took him out. I think it was because of the tags or maybe because of the uh, of the title. But anyway, they said that it was a duplicate video, although this is a new deck. It's a new deck profile. So this is my third attempt. I'm not going to try to put it any type of title saying that it's a farm deck so um, I'm not sure if it was the titles uh, the tags or what it was but anyway here's the uh, the deck that I'm using to farm uh, what's his name uh, Tyranno Hasselberry anyway the decks actually really affordable and it's really easy to obtain you do have to buy three structure decks and then for the twisters you don't really need them you can use the uh, the double Cyclones, I believe. So, for the deck list, uh, three Ancient Gear Reactor Dragons, uh, three Ancient Gear Wyverns, and then one Gravekeeper's Vassal, uh, three Gear Towns, two Union Attacks, one Enemy Controller, and then the Twisters. And again, if you do not have the Twisters, just use the Cyclone. Um, and most of the time, you don't even need the Twisters or the Cyclones. Uh, and then you need two Ancient Gear Fortresses, or you don't need them, you can go without them too. But I'm just running two Ancient Gear Fortresses. Uh, one secret passing of treasure and then uh, one palisoid canadia so let's go ahead and get into the uh into the replay right quick that way you know how to how to play this particular deck and again it's a really affordable uh deck to make uh, the only thing is you do have to get the uh the three uh, the three structure decks um if you want to make it a little bit better you can substitute some of the cards for floodgate trap hole and I know some subscribers saying that they really didn't want to spend the gems uh, needed or the money to get the floodgate trap hole, so I left them out. Uh, again, it's going to be the same thing with the twisters, but again, you don't need the twisters, just substitute it for any other destruction card. And again, the, the wyverns search out basically the reactor or the, uh, or the fortress. And it, it doesn't matter whether you attack or not because there's a current uh, thousand uh, bonus. So you're always going to get over 8,000, so it doesn't matter whether you take damage or if he takes battle damage, it really, it, it doesn't matter. So with this particular, in this particular game I got 8,200 uh, dual assessments, so it was already over 8,000. And that's basically when you farm, that's what, yeah, what you're going for, for 8,000 dual assessments, and that's what I got. Uh, so far, I've, I've been trying to farm him uh, whenever he came out, and I'm trying to farm some tickets also to farm him at the gate. But I haven't been like you know I haven't just seen any of the rewards. The rewards are rather decent. I'm not gonna say they're like the best things ever, but uh, overall they're just decent cards to have. Uh, and uh, basically, after you have got the the setup on here, you're just basically gonna be passing turns. And uh, you might also wanna run um, anti magic arrows instead of one of the twisters, maybe for a final attack. Because uh, he does have a, a card that will increase uh, his life points by the number of monsters that he has in, in his graveyard and he moves them. I think it was Final Instinct maybe or Survival Instinct or something like that. Uh, so you might not get over the 9-9-9-9 uh, uh, the damage. So you might want to run the Anti-Magic Arrows. Uh, it's this good one. Survival Instinct, banish any number of banish attack monsters from your graveyard, gain 400 life from for each battle attack monster banish threat. And then after he does that, you do have to watch out for the Tyranno Infinity, and that one of the other ones, one of the other level 4s, uh, this one, this guy, that guy gets the norm is another you need a ton of cards. It was 3400, so that's why you need the uh, the Canadia and the enemy controller. Here's the final attack. He basically, to pass the treasure times uh, with two union attack on that one, and then just basically attacking the red. And overall, the deck is really simple to use. It's really affordable. Well, in my opinion, it's affordable. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not sure what your situation is, and uh, if uh, you want to see maybe a more more affordable deck. Even though this one's already somewhat affordable, just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, you can play uh, Raw, and for, with Raw, I think it's uh, another easy way to farm him. However, I think everybody else already has uh, that, that Raw deck, so I decided to go a different way and show you this particular build. But if you do want to see the Raw build, just let me know. 
you can also check out um, I think there's a website online that usually puts out a ton of farm decks I can't remember the name of it if I find it I'll leave it in the comment section below and that, that way you can see a copy of the, the raw farm deck but for, uh, for this one three uh, ancient gear reactor dragons three wyverns uh, one gravekeeper's vassal three gear towns uh, two unit attacks one enemy controller two or oh, three twisters uh, two ancient gear fortresses and then uh, two capacity treasure and a palisoid canadias uh, you can also run magical hats and instead of twisters if you have them i didn't want to put them in here because they're ultra rares but if you do have magical hats just up to them for twi uh, twisters and i think the deck will run way way faster than, than it's running right now uh, if you want me to show you like an optimal version of this deck with like some higher end cards uh, do also let me know in the comment section below and i can go ahead and see if I can get something going and uh, I'm gonna keep playing and using different versions of this and try to farm them and see how how well it does so right now it's not a hundred percent win rate uh, he does uh, every now and then I get lucky and he says tail swipe and just destroys you and bounces uh, your monsters to the hand so uh, it's not a hundred percent win rate but it does work uh, as long as you're able to farm the the tickets for uh, for you to play against them you should be fine uh, again, it's a, it's a really it's a decent farm deck, uh, but do let me know if you want to see the optimized version of it. And I think that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you are enjoying my content, do subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.